our next stop of the day. Happy Sunday part two, fantasy of flight. Here we go. So we are in Polk City, Florida, which is about exit 44 or so on I-4, just south of Kissimmee and north of Lakeland um, for fantasy of flight. This is kind of like a holding bay or a museum of all older airplanes. It was started and still owned by Kermit Weeks, and he is a world-renowned aviator and airplane collector that started building airplanes when he was just 17 years old. Parked outside is a 1957 Lockheed Constellation L1649 Starliner. This was the state-of-the-art transatlantic airliner before the beginning of the jet age. Look at this. It's a prop plane. You can fly that plane back there or be a passenger in it for 70 bucks. You can also fly in the Starman. 30 minute hands on flight, dual controls. But it's not too much better because you still have like, the same kind of people around. You know, it's. Um... We're still outside. Now this museum was bigger at one time and open a little bit more full time. It's only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now from 11 to 3. Oh, it closed in 2005 and since reopened, modified. It's also available for like private events and things like that. Well, let's go in. We've got a tour already in progress. We want to get the original wire to a damp. What we do is we send them to this little company in Texas. They take modern wire and they put a second coating on the outside of it. Changes the color. If you want tiger striping, they can do that. So that's what he did. He got a couple of boxes of wire, sent it to Texas, has tiger striping put on it. It's not the old wire, but it sure looks like the old wire. So that's what he wanted to put in. So he took out the other wire, put it in. Same airplane, fabric covered fuselage. Most of them. Uh, as you see here, we'll have two zippers in the back end, back by the elevator. Awfully old. The fabric on the zippers themselves could not be reused. Well, you know, all the zipper companies put their name on their tag. So we had somebody call up that company. Present, the this only is a B26. B26 in existence. Now, the B26, when it first came out, acquired a really bad reputation. It was called the Widowmaker. One a day in Tampa Bay is one of its saying. This is the original Widowmaker. It has four planes, a small tail. A very nice handling airplane if you are a good pilot. Now, the guys that were being trained in this thing, this might have been the first really twin engine airplane they handled at all, and it's an extremely hot airplane. So they had difficulties, and there were a lot of crashes. Later versions had longer wings and a taller tail, which made them handle a lot better. But once you figured out the B-26, you were pretty much home free. It had the best safety record of any aircraft in combat. But the Army decided this they didn't want to crash it out and left it where it was. Uh, after the war, maybe 20, 30 years after the war, I'm not exactly sure when, somebody bought it. Brought it back, got it flying. Mr. Weeks bought it from him. Uh, 1998, they had a uh, reunion at McGill Air Force Base. This aircraft flew to McGill, was there for the reunion, and flew back, making it the last B-26 to fly out of McGill. I believe it's possible it has flown since then. I saw a 2003 date for it. There is no real structural reason why it cannot fly. We're going to take a walk around without the group. But the tour guide is saying that they are going to continue to keep restoring Fantasy of Flight and make a phase three for the place with some rides, etc. This is a 1938 Curtis 19R. That's my daughter in front of the plane, waiting for the prop to come on. There's another look at the plane that we saw outside. There's the 
there's a smaller plane over to the side. We'll come back into hangar here. Got a pretty awesome setup. Look at this. This plane under construction. So much to look at. All kind of pushed together here. Let's see what this is. This is a 1944 North American P-51C. This is a British plane nicknamed the Mustang. We kind of pass this by. Hopefully we catch what this is. When we come back around, we come up on two other planes here. And this white plane is a 1929 Travel Air 4000. I like some detail about it. Over here we have a 1931 Ford Deluxe Model A. To the right we have a little first person view flying. More importantly, a bunch of airplane engines here. Right here we have the Miss Los Angeles from 1934. This is a replica. This is a 1932 DGA-5 Ike. TGI Fridays. It is not a TGI Fridays. Look at that. Look at how small that cockpit is. Be relatively small frame to be able to fit in there. Right next to this plane is a 1932 Chevy Confederate series. Yeah. And we've got this ridiculously large plane in the middle here. It is really fun the way that they fit all of these planes together here, especially like underneath the height of the other's wings. They really maximize the space. This is a Pratt & Whitney Twin Wasp Cutaway. Let's see, we can push the button to activate the motor. These guys are getting in a cockpit. Oh boy. Nothing good can come of this. Oh wow. It's got the controls in here too. Yeah, this might not be safe though. Wow. You can park. Wow. Hot air and cold air if you pull. I can see the Pull that push. It's not a pull. We're already it's crashing. A, it's a turn. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you have back here? Uh, Just a little modification. Hmm. I'm gonna get inside this cockpit. The seat is a little bit further back. Smashed my head anyway.
Here we go. Oh, look at that. Roger, Roger. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Cockpit may be a little small for Jess. She may not be a fighter pilot. There you go. Well, it can't be big time. Back here, we have a 1933 B1 racer. Tail gun here on this big plane. We've got a Jeep. Let's see what this is all about. This is a Willys Overland Jeep from the 1930s. Let's go back to the plane though. Size of this thing. Yes. Yes. That is awesome. It's a 1944 B 24J Liberator. This B-24 was designed in 1939 as a replacement for the Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress. We're making our way back over to this green plane. This is a 1954 Polikarpov P-02. This is from Russia. Designed in the 1920s. About 13,000 of them were built, mostly out of wood and fabric. <laughs> These guys are in another cockpit. Yeah. The Gunman S2 tractor. <laughs> the Gunman S2 tracker. Yes. <laughs> Look at the controls above. Look at them above you. I know. This is insane. Wow. Yeah, someone still needs to know what they all are. I know. Now we're up to this. This is a 1931 Laird Super Solution. At one time, this was one of the fastest planes. This plane was once used to set a new transcontinental record. We're moving over to this plane. It's crazy looking, right? It's so short. Nineteen thirty-two GBR two. It's a replica. These planes were used back in the day for air shows. Back in the beginning. Look at this. The 1945 Nord Stamp. Mm -hmm. 
got more motors. Funny Hall Scott, this is Scott Hall. Any wrestling fans? Look at this. This is an old wooden airplane. This is a 1917 DE Haviland DH4. This was built in 1917. And it weighs just a little bit more than a car would weigh. Look at that. This is crazy. Wow. This is a 1918 SUP with Snipe. Very similar to the planes that Snoopy when he was fighting the Red Baron. But this is a reproduction. And this is a reproduction. Walk around this way. And this is a 1918 standard E1. And the last of these small little trick planes, 1931 GBZ. won every race that it was ever entered in. <laughs> this is a 1918 Marine AI. gun up top that was used for the war. That is so crazy. This is a 1915 Newport 17. Hundreds of switches to play with. Totally different from our World War II trainer. We probably need more switches. You know, much simpler. Uh, and we have a... Oh! Coming back in for a landing. There it is, circling back. Wow, so cool. There it comes. I think that is just about gonna do it for us from Fantasy of Flight. This place was really cool. I loved seeing all the old planes. I know that there's a lot more to see too, and they're rotating planes in and out, so I'll be interested to come back because I do want to come back and see other planes. Um, but on that note, thanks a lot for coming along with us. Thank you for all of your likes, and your comments, and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.